Organization declared the outbreak an international public health emergency. What is happening in other countries? UI is positive for the global coronavirus. I am placing the entire zone under quarantine. The year 2020 brought a lot of uncertainties to many people, especially with the spread of an unknown disease called COVID-19, which changed our lives in ways we had never experienced before. One of the most affected institutions was the academe. Schools were not allowed to hold face-to-face -face classes to prevent the virus from further spreading. Even the provision of extension services to clientele was hampered. Faced with the alarming situation, the government rallied the various sectors to act to mitigate to the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. Different interventions were provided to families for their food, livelihood, and other basic sustenance. In Central Luzon State University, work guidelines were implemented for the university to continue operating while adhering to the government's health safety protocols. The University Extension Center, which is at the forefront of technology dissemination and community development efforts, utilized various modalities to be able to reach the various clients and provide quick and timely response to their needs. One of the initial strategies implemented by the University Extension Center in the early months of the Luzon-wide lockdown, specifically in June 2020, is the conduct of CLSU webinar series. The webinar series airs every Wednesday using the Zoom teleconferencing application and has a simulcast at the Facebook page of the University Extension Center. Primarily, the webinars promote agriculture and food production, entrepreneurship, and social awareness, particularly as regards the COVID-19 pandemic. Since its pilot episode, the webinar series has generated over 13,000 participants and reached more than 200,000 Facebook users within the country and abroad. In no time at all, the webinars earned the praises and appreciation of participants, which found the topics useful and gave the activity a consistently excellent rating. The center has also launched the Techno Talk a magazine-type program featuring the center's extension activities with various units of the university and the client's experiences in adopting the technologies developed by CLSU. It was aired initially in August 2020 at the Extension Center's Facebook page and beginning this March 2021 over DWFA 107.3 FN Radio CLSU. The University Extension Center has also not stopped from rendering extension advisory services directly to the clients. Since one of the extension strategies utilized by the center to reach out to its clients is the provision of advisory services through the use of mobile phones, the personnel have intensified the use of this approach since face-to-face -face interaction is still being limited. In the late months of the year 2020, the center saw the need to conduct field extension despite the continued threat of COVID-19. The center believes that these services are crucial in order to assist clients with no or limited access to ICT facilities and to provide appropriate advice based on the conditions seen in the farms and homes. Thus, with the permission from the university leadership, Extension personnel and partner technical specialists from other units of the university went out to the field once again and undertook extension activities following the health protocols. In the midst of the pandemic, the Techno Village Development Program was born. The program is a concerted effort of the different units and colleges to bring the university to the communities. It aims to enhance the promotion dissemination, and utilization of CLSU technologies among farmers and other clients in order to accelerate countryside development. The idea is to create a university inside a community, showcasing developed and mature technologies that clients can use to improve their agro-enterprise activities, yield, and income. The program is piloted in two sites, namely Science City of Minos and Talavera, both in Nueva Ecija. The communities, however, stand to become important extension 
instruction, and research sites of faculty and staff, as well as study and major practice sites of students. Today, the sites showcase the following technologies in collaboration with the local government units, farmer associations, and progressive farmers. Special Rice Production Itik Pinas Production Project Mushroom Production and the Aquashade for Tilapia production. Aside from these, the CLSU Extension Center also assisted and provided extension services to various socio-economically challenged groups such as indigenous peoples, rural women, four-piece beneficiaries, and nutritionally at-risk households. Trainings, coachings, and information support services were provided to these groups to capacitate them in undertaking livelihood development activities. Project starter kits such as rice and vegetable seeds, fruit tree seedlings, animal stocks, fingerlings, and other farm inputs were also given to enable families to apply their learning in establishing projects for their food, livelihood, and income. All of these are made possible with the help of partner development organizations. Family to family sharing of blessings is encouraged to extend project benefits to more families in the community and promote sustainability. With or without the pandemic, the CLSU Extension Center will continue to pursue its commitment to bring technologies and development assistance to the clients with the end goal of helping them improve their socio-economic well-being.